Hey guys, Angel here. <clears throat> this is going to be very difficult for me. Um, I hope this just rolls off my tongue through God's presence. I'm shaking as I am channeling this information to you. God has come to me. I, I, I feel his love pulsating through me. He told me that I need to release myself from this, this bondage. He says, I, I know that I am the mediator. I know my responsibilities as a tarot reader and where it has led me so far um and and i kept hitting this precipice even with my channel subscribers there's a precipice that and i do see the uh you know this is the new subscribers thank you for subscribing by the way my bondage and the mental oppression that I've been feeling. Uh, and you can tell in some of my readings that I just can't get beyond an energy because there is a, a overshadowing or something that I can't release there. And through this, God led me to understand what my role was in this whole thing. And it's to understand and release what I couldn't. That's what the tarot has always done for me. And those of you guys who don't know, I was uh, was really in some, you know, when they say I was at the bottom of the ditch, right? You have to scrape yourself off the cement kind of thing. In me being, I, I am a psychic medium, okay? And I've been known, I, I was a medium since I was a child. Through me meeting the divine presence of, I want to say in all of my history, uh, me being, living and experiencing uh, through books and, and videos, uh, it was an actual archangel. It was sparkling gold. And it said, I will be protecting you from now on. And it actually carried a baby doll with it. It was a tangible item um, that it, it, right, it touched me. I seen it before it even entered my room because I was born with gifts. But me, actually, it was, it's kind of like a, a double, the double helix, right? It's, it's, it made me who I am. <sighs> now, when I was 16 years old upon uh, puberty, God graciously gave me his warm hug of his divine love. And I, I, immediately I wanted to go back into that lucid dreaming where um, I was, I, I just didn't want it to go away. I wanted to continue feeling his love. Then shortly after that, I was up against, he sat me straight up in my bed, up against the demon Zozo. And with the only tool Nothing I carried, the love that I carried in my heart wouldn't have released this demon from the, the, the wind and, and the scurrying that was around me and seeing his face just, you know, it was like a vacuum. It was trying to suck me. And believe me, I hit the, the when, when the only tool that I had was the Lord's Prayer, in which I was brought up Catholic. I, I am a confirmed Catholic. 
Now, the first sentence, I couldn't even get to the second sentence. And you can recite it to yourself. That it released me. And I recognized who had control. Who had ultimate power here. And I know you see my videos up on YouTube about K2 meters. And I am in walking in this realm that no one else does. I have been up against reptilians that have wanted my soul. That was actually brought in from Zozo himself. This has continued all of my life. I wasn't brought up against the reptilian until I was in my 40s. There are light and dark beings that exist everywhere. Neither one can exist without the other, is what they're telling me. Now, back to the tarot. I realized that it was a tool that helped me get through where I couldn't see the light of day. It was just that illumination of how beyond anyone else's control but my own. In my relationship of the, what they told me, this is going to work on your subconscious. And the things that no one has the answers for, they'll help, it will help you. It will help you see what is buried deep inside of you, the things that you cannot get over. So I did. I learned the tarot. And I couldn't believe the first time it spoke to me. When I learned all the cards, I said, okay, spirit, here we go. Show me, just not about my problems, because I had someone else in front of me that we had our own problems at the time, and uh, really I was trying to get beyond him, but it showed me the problems that, that me and him had, and I couldn't believe it. I sat there and I read the whole deck. I said, Spirit, you got, I can't, I, what, and I cried. And this idiot, right, <laughs> I can't mention names, but he was like, you know, what's wrong with you? No, it's like, it was like a big explosion of, I cannot understand this right now. How does this work? There is forces that we cannot see that helps us determine what is wrong within us. Now, my thing is, is what, what I notice my, my big spiritual illumination is there's certain readings that I can't get beyond, there's certain energies I can't get beyond, I can't have, because I don't want to go deeper because I'm not ready to see the truth. And I, I feel like some of my zodiac signs, they've been stuck in, in, in suspended animation because I'm not choosing to see that. So I'm going, I was coming up with, with my own analogies and spirit shows me, right? God shows me. Through all things, you have to include me. Which is Jesus, right? God, the Holy Spirit. Because it's a togetherness. You can't have one without the other. You can't have light without the dark. And for me choosing to remain in the dark, I wasn't getting the illumination that I needed. So I'm reworking this channel. I'm going to face the problem 
God's illumination through this. And they showing me the infinity symbol. God's on one side, the devil's on the other. And here I am, the mediator, who can see into both of these realms. Ever since I've been touched, right? So here I am at this precipice with my channel not growing. And me not being able to see the answer. And he said, through me all things are created. And you've been seeing little touches, even the 25,000 view video of, I can't believe it, I almost fell out in my chair. You received the message straight from God. Now, I do that for me. This, this happens with me, but not through my reading. And it was the most viewed video I got. And I'm like, what? Okay, God... Through all me, things are created. You can't have the dark without the light. The light. So here I am at this point and stage, and I said, well, you know, no wonder why certain people don't even want you to. Oh, you know, Tarot's demonic. It is, but... You can't have one without the other. So I'm going to have in the beginning of my readings, we're going to see what the problem is. And yes, I am using the tarot. But with me incorporating, incorporating God through my readings, I have reworked the tarot in such a way with God's help that you will receive the messages from God. We will find the solution through his word. And I just stand as the mediator and release my bondage <clears throat> and give my much deserved reward to you as well as me. This mental oppression that I have been in through, guys, we, I have got, I'm inviting you to take this step by step with me and we will get this done. <clears throat> God puts a little heaven in our hearts so we never settle for less. Remember that. I know I'm not perfect, and I may not have exactly what you desire from a reader, but my faith in Jesus Christ and God, our Savior, is growing exceedingly. And it can't help but to come out through my readings. God is putting everything back in order for me so I can find the right answers for you and obtain what we both are seeking here. In Acts 8.26, it says, send your angels to be involved in reaching the lost. That's me. I don't know how else to say it, but this is the role I am transforming into being. Turning situations into positive ones. Let me increase and abound in love. That's First Thessalonians, Thessalonians, three, twelve. I'm on the increase, guys. I'm going to turn these positive things that I'm getting with God's help. And reaching positive solutions for us both. 
And hopefully we can do this in a relatively short time because they're working through me. And I'm thankful for all that I have, all my subscribers. I thank God for you guys every day. And I have been more self-confident. And I'm trying to direct my energy into my new ideas. A few months ago, I may have stumbled. But I'm now in cooperation. <laughs> you know how they say with the local, federal, and state authorities? Well, there you go. God's in control, guys. I'm just giving an opportunity to help you resolve karmic situations and, and remember that love conquers everything. I'm going to help you gain the insight into things that remained a mystery. And they're telling me, Lord, let me increase in wisdom and stature. That's Luke 2.52. Guys, I'm trying to think about the right words to say, but God's, he's waking me up. And I've been noticing the warning signs everywhere. For the law is only a shadow of good things to come. Not the realities themselves. Change will come through the shadow, but... The shadow has to remain visible. You know, when you begin to realize that life is an endless circle of guilt and shame without God, that it is foolish to think that God does not exist. Life without God is not fun at all. It's full of worry and unnecessary pain. But life with his love is so much more wonderful. Don't you want to release all of this hurt due to the consequences in your life? The inability to exert any influence over a situation? It's time to overthrow the, the thrones of wicked kingdoms. Guys, things may not be going according to my plan, but something better is on the way. I'm learning to establish that link between me and God. And I'm always keeping it my metaphysical principles into account because I am a medium. God changed my whole way of thinking, guys. It's been like a spiritual, spiritual whiplash to me. First Corinthians 13, 12 says, Now we see things imperfectly like puzzling reflections in a mirror, but then we will see everything with perfect clarity. God sees through your eyes. We are all his children. You can find the sense of home with him in a deep inner peace. <laughs> Spirit says to me, we knew you can do it. Guys, just take this as a spiritual sign from the universe that your wish is possible. I reign in Christ, Romans 5, 17.
And if you're worrying about maintaining that constant attitude, don't worry. It won't last. Just get out of that realm of thought. Lord, I'll let you reign. You are my, you are clothed with majesty and strength. Your throne is established of old. You are everlasting. That's Psalms 93, 1. Guys, if you are with me, I invite you to be with me. Please subscribe to this channel for it's changing. I ask for your backing. It's time to discern what's meaningful in life. They tell me you need to be on a higher realm. And that means eating good, eating healthy. Eat more fruits and vegetables. Because you're going to gain the vitamins and nutrients that, that you need. And it's going to help you achieve most, if not all, of your desires. And you remain with the affirmations I have taught you. I am prosperous. I am worthy. I am here to receive. This is going to bridge the gap. And look, you will affirm something to the world from a place of love. And stand behind your statements. They will inf uh, reflect your intent. This spiritual illumination that you're getting from me, hopefully it uprooted an old thought pattern that you have about the tarot. I feel that some of you may want to go back and re-watch this, but your heart is ready to create something new. So if you stand with me, guys, subscribe. For my channel is going in a different direction. The Lord shall increase me more and more. Me and my children. Psalms 115, 14. And guys, thank you for staying with me till the end. And I hope you will remain my loyal subscribers. And I invite God into my life. Amen. Namaste.